Good morning and welcome to Morning Devotions. I'm Pastor Jeremy. Uh, this week, uh, I'd like to focus on something called the New Revised Common Lectionary. Now, what that is, is it's a listing of readings, scripture readings, uh, that the church uses on a regular basis for every Sunday's readings. Uh, it started actually in about 1969, where a lot of the mainline denominations got together uh, to form a common lectionary that followed the church year and uh, picked different scriptures for different times of the year. Like during Advent, it'd be the stories of birth of Jesus, and during Lent would be the stories of Jesus uh, uh, getting ready to uh, be crucified. And it was uh, meant to, and it's, it's gone through several different versions over the years. And the la latest version uh, was put out, uh, I think, in the 80s. And again, the reason for it is that no matter what uh, Lutheran church, for example, that you go to on a weekend, that you will hear the same scripture and uh, relatively the same kind of message no matter where you go. That's the reason uh, that they put that together. Uh, at Advent Lutheran Church, we follow the lectionary at times, and at other times we, we pick our own scriptures and have sermon series and sermon themes. Uh, lately, we have been doing the common lectionary uh, as we have been worshiping uh, online. Not only do they have scripture readings for each weekend or each Sunday, they also have a daily scripture reading uh, that you can look up and read and follow along as well. And again, you can Google that, uh, New Revised Common Lectionary, and you can find all that online. It's a three-year um, uh, lectionary, meaning there's an A, year A, year B, and year C and they pick different scriptures uh, each year uh, to go through that. And then so we do, we do year A, then we move to year B, then C, and then back to A. We are actually now in year A. So I'm just gonna follow the lectionary and pick some scriptures. They always have uh, several scriptures to pick from, uh, an Old Testament, a Psalm, a New Testament, and a Gospel reading. Today, uh, scripture is, comes uh, from Psalm 105, which is the psalm for today in the Revised Common Lectionary. And Psalm 105 says this. I'm going to be reading verses 1 through 4. Again, Psalm 105, verses 1 through 4. Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what God has done. Sing to God, sing praises to him, tell of all of his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. This is a, obviously a beautiful psalm uh, written by uh, King David. A lot of the psalms are psalms of praise, which this is one of them, uh, just giving God glory for who God is. And as we just got done worshiping this weekend, you know, that's what worship is all about. Uh, worship is giving God the honor and glory that God so richly deserves. And uh, of course, you know, we sing and, and uh, we hear God's word and we hear a message and we listen to a, where God's spirit is guiding us to do uh, that day and that week. And, and we receive God's forgiveness and grace and mercy uh, through the sacraments, you know, baptism and communion. Uh, and uh, we have corporate confession that we do together uh, at the beginning in the Lutheran church. All those things are to give God glory. Um, I think in this day and age, uh, especially right now, that a lot of things are going uh, wrong in the world and we see all the bad in the world, uh, we forget that uh, God is good. And God is good all the time. Uh, and uh, it's hard for us to see that good sometimes. And we have to remember that God is good and what God has done and blessed our lives uh, with even the times that we don't want to uh, see the good or, or we want to blame God for different things. 
uh, God continues to bless us with life and uh, bless us with many things. And uh, God calls us to give him glory and praise and worship. And some of the best things we can do in this time uh, where we are um, just sad and upset and angry uh, is come together and uh, worship together and give God that glory and praise. So that's what uh, I'm thinking about today. I'm going to be thinking about all the things that, uh, that I have that God has blessed me with uh, that makes uh, my life better and happy. Uh, of course, the number one thing is Jesus Christ, you know, that God gave me Jesus as my Savior. And because of his life, death, and resurrection, uh, my salvation is secure. And, uh, and, uh, and I'm so thankful for that gift that um, I, there's nothing I can do to re but receive that gift. But also a gift of family and, and health and, and a, a way to be able to, um, to provide for my family, shelter, food, all these things that God uh, has provided for me. And to continue to pray that God continues to work through the world, that God continues to work through me to work through the world. I think that is the most important thing, not just sitting around and uh, doing nothing, but letting God work through me to make this world a better place. So that's my challenge for you today. Um, just give God some glory and praise and thank God for the blessings that you have in your life, whatever they are, and find out a way that God can work through you today to make this world a better place. Let's pray. A oh, good and gracious God, we just thank you for who you are. We thank you for the love and grace and mercy that you give us. And we pray that we could go and give that love, grace, and mercy to others, that others may know your goodness and your love. Even with the world the way it is, we pray and ask that your Holy Spirit and that your love to conquer all and help us and work through us to make this world, make our lives better. We pray this in your son's holy and precious name. Amen. All right. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Everybody have a great day.